Welcome to Always Analog, where we celebrate the beauty of analog technology in the digital world. Today we continue on our School Supply Season 2022 series uh, of um, fun and interesting offerings in the stores for school supply season. So back at Walmart, uh, all kinds of pen and gear stuff, uh, including pencils of different kinds. So here are some pencils uh, that were offered. I've already reviewed the pen and gear yellow pencils that they were selling for 47 cents. Uh, they also have these out, and these are just labeled as pastel pencils, um, pen and gear. And there's a dozen here, and these were just a little over a dollar. Um, I want to say these were, I don't know, maybe a dollar nineteen or a dollar twenty nine, something like that, um, for a dozen pencils and pastel referring to uh, the paint. You can see the actual cutaway here and they are all really kind of nice pastel colors. So here's how it comes in a flat cardboard box like this. Um, the back doesn't give a lot of extra information um, other than uh, the box is recyclable. Uh, Walmart, Pen and Gear, but it does say that these pencils are made in the Philippines. Now the yellow pencils that I reviewed were made in uh, India. So this is a different country of manufacture, a different factory, and so I'm wondering if these will, how these will write. The Indian made Pen and Gear are generally pretty good. Uh, we'll see about these. So, um, here they are. Let's take a look here so you can kind of see uh, the cores. Mm, you know, they're not bad. Uh, relatively on center. There's a, this, this one's off a little bit. Uh, so, they're not perfect, but there's a lot of them that are they look to be about spot on with regards to having a centered graphite core. There is no note on um, the box as to the core strength, but taking a look at a pencil, here's a purple one. Oh, by the way, let me, let me take a bunch of these out. In, in all cases here, the what is also fun about this is the eraser kind of matches the color of the barrel. So that's fun. And you can see where uh, uh, kids might, might go for something like that. Uh, let's see. Let me get back to this purple one here. Um, and it is this pen and gear number 2 HB. So I don't know why they didn't put it on the box that these are number two pencils, but they didn't, but they are on the pencil themselves. Again, we have a kind of a chrome toned ferrule crimped on, an eraser crimped on. In this case, it's a purple eraser uh, to match sort of this really light purple, I'd almost call it like a lilac-y kind of a color. Uh, there's the core and yeah, Nice. Uh, the paint job on all of these actually is pretty good. Uh, no runs at the bottom uh, and they seem to have a nice full coating of paint all around. Uh, they are uh, hexagonal pencils uh, definitely not cedar, but um, we wouldn't expect that in a pencil at this price. But anyways, um, yeah, we get a, I'm always drawn to the green. Here's, a, here's the green one. Again, 
Nice paint job. Okay, um, let me sharpen one and we will try it out. So I've got the pencil sharpened here. Uh, didn't sharpen completely evenly as you can see. Uh, the core seemed to be fairly centered on this pencil, but okay, let's um, let's see what we've got here. You know, when you look at the package and that it's called a pastel pencil, one could think perhaps that they are colored pencils rather than uh, a standard pencil. There we go. So, as you can see, uh, it has a fairly um, dark line. So let's see what's going on here with our point. Retention is average. Um, I will say I have used other pencils that are made in the Philippines and um, they have seemed a little harder and a little lighter than this one. I'm actually um, okay with the way that this particular pencil is performing. It's not quiet. I'm sure you can hear this. gets washed out a little bit but there's a smudge drag um, there let's I'm gonna try try our purple eraser attached to the pencil okay Not great. Let's get out the old Pentel. Good. What else do we got? Pink Carnation. Okay. Foam. Okay, Mars Plastic, mm-hmm, oh, not a Raj, okay, and an Art Gum, wow. 
Well, uh, most of the other racers did a similarly good job here in terms of erasing. Uh, again, we we have no expectations for the attached eraser. I think, if anything, now the attached erasers are almost like a decorative piece or something like that. Um, but in terms of erasability, uh, I think this pencil gets a solid B. So, uh, if you're buying these pencils for a student, um, while you're in the store, grab a pack of good erasers. Um, I think uh, at Walmart they have um, a number of eraser offerings. Probably the best one is the, the Pentel high polymer in, uh, that you'll find there. Uh, certainly did a nice job here. Okay, well, there it is, folks. The Pen and Gear Number no. 2 HB Pastel Pencil from Walmart. Uh, decent writer and fun colors uh, for sure. Uh, made in the Philippines, and an inexpensive pencil will run you. Oh, just probably uh, at or below 10 cents per pencil. So, uh, might be something you want to consider. Uh, thank you for hanging out with me for this review. And if you like what goes on here, please share, like, and subscribe. I'll see you again real soon here on Always Analog.